What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Tyron Johnson Show. I'm your host, Tyron Johnson, and I drop this podcast every Monday to help inspire, educate, and motivate. Today's topic, we're talking about how there is never a time to not get better. Never a time. I was thinking about this while I was rebounding for my teammate last game. He was shooting. I was rebounding. I had did my work previously before him. He was doing some things on the side, getting his body right. I was pretty much working out by myself, so I kind of got a good little sweat. I did everything that I needed to do. So I was pretty much finished with my workout, but I decided to help him because, you know, getting a rebound in Europe is very important because you don't have much of it. In college and in the, in the NBA, they have a bunch of coaches that's rebounding for you. You have some guys that you pay on the side, some trainers that rebound for you. But over here, it's pretty much you're by yourself, right? So I wanted to help him. While helping him, I realized that I was also helping myself. I've been noticed that, but it just came upon my mind so I can make this podcast. But since I was young, since I was in college, one of the things that I hate the most about basketball is rebounding. I hate rebounding for other people. I want to work out and I want to get out. I don't like to be in the gym all day and all night. I like to get the work in and get out. When I get between those lines, it's all business, right? So I thought helping another person rebound wouldn't serve me. I was, I was really, really, really wrong about that because what I realized is, what I started to do is figure out ways that I can get better even when I'm rebounding. Because there was always a time to get better. I would start paying attention to how the ball was coming out the rim so that I can start getting used to seeing that and getting, getting my motor skills used to seeing, okay, well, the ball is going to fall short. So most likely it's going to either go back to the direction of the shooter or it's going to come directly opposite, right? So that's why whenever you rebound, you want to get on the opposite side of the shooter because most people are short and even if they're short the ball is probably going to go over the rim if they're long the ball is definitely going over the rim if they're really short then that's the one percent chance that the ball is going to go back so the highest probability is the opposite side of the shooter right so i started paying attention to that and like i'm like oh i can really get better at this also i can get better at my passing i'm working on my passing skills throwing it back to him throwing it with one hand throwing it with two hands behind the back. I'm throwing uh, whip passes. I'm working on my ball handling, one dribble, passing it back. So much you can do by just wanting to get better at all times. See, the thing about getting better at all times is, it, is it that you have to look at everything as a way to get better. Everything in your life, every single minute, you can get better at something, right? Second part I wanted to talk about was even when you're at home, you can get better. Always move your body. Like, don't just sit on the couch. So many guys just work out for two, three hours, go home, and just sit on the couch. It ain't gonna work. What happens is when you become a couch junkie and you're watching YouTube and you're playing video games, your hips get tight, your hamstrings get tight, your thighs get tight, your Achilles, your calves get tight. Sitting down in one place, like me, guys like me, I. I'm an entrepreneur outside of basketball, so I'm on my computer a lot. But if I just sit down at the computer table all day, all of these muscles get tight, especially after just running and jumping for three, four hours and fighting grown men every day. You're, you're in bad, your, your body is in a bad position by sitting down and laying down on the couch all day. So what you want to do is get better, right? You can use this time to work on your mobility. You can work for an hour. Take a 15 minute break, do a stretch, go for a walk, do things to make sure that your body is constantly loose. You can be playing the video games on a couch. Take 15 minutes, get you a break, get you a stretch in, get you some push ups, do something. Or instead of sitting on the couch, you can actually sit on the Bosu ball. The Bosu ball is going to work your hips because the ball is going to make you bounce. Or you can get, like for me, I'm at the desk a lot. I don't play much video games, but I'm at the computer a lot. And I'm always doing some graphics, so I'm always doing something for the business. So I got a standing desk. You might not have a standing desk. I haven't had a standing desk for a long time. What I do is I create a standing desk. So I will find books sometimes and just pile them on top of each other, put my computer on top of that. Boom, I got a standing desk. Sometimes I'll put the chair on top of my table. Boom, that's the resting for my mouse. 
So I'm standing instead of sitting. I would stand for 30 minutes, I would sit for an hour. Go outside for a walk, come back, work for an hour by sitting, stand for the next 30 minutes. So you're constantly moving, constantly being active. That's another way to constantly get better, right? You don't got no practice? Cool, no problem. You can't get in the gym? Cool, no problem. You still can get better. You can study the game. You can study your game. You can work on your game without a ball, without a weight room. You can do so much, man, at all times, man. You can read books. You can, you can read books on your favorite players, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. There's so much you can do. One thing I do on my YouTube channel is I do film study, right? Where I take a player once a week and I just study all of his movements, how he, not even he, I do the same thing for women too. So how the player moves, how the player reacts, what the player is probably thinking about in that situation. Um, just a whole bunch of things that is breaking down this player and I see what I can steal. That's me getting better. I didn't shoot one jump shot. I didn't take one dribble. You know, I didn't do one push-up. I just sat down while I'm relaxing. Instead of watching things that are consuming me, like scrolling on the feed or watching the news or something, I'm watching something that's more productive, something that's going to make me a better player, right? But at the same time, you don't always have to be this person. You don't always have to be Oh, I want to be the best basketball player, so I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this, do this, to where you stop being a human. No, continue being a human. You can have your time when you're going up and down the feed on Instagram. You can have your time when you're playing video games, talking to girls that you're probably not really interested into or men that you're probably not interested in. Basically, what I'm saying is you can waste time. It's okay to waste time. But just don't do that for the majority of your time, right? You got to have that balance of productivity, and being a human, being social, that's cool. But I'll tell you that the ones that separate themselves, they're social, but the balance is tipping a little bit more to the productivity side. I seen my guys in college. I seen how they approach the game and how they approach life and how they approach college. And I seen the way that, how I approach college. And I'm the only one that's playing professional basketball today. Right. I didn't really have a college lifestyle like I was so focused on the game that I kind of pretty much punted my whole college lifestyle. I didn't really socialize much because I was desperate to become the best version of myself. Right. And I did that by always constantly getting better. First in the gym, last to, last to leave. Weight room, uh, eating right, sleeping right and just constantly getting better. Right. So whenever you so 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 just to conclude this, you can have all these ways to get better. You can get better on the basketball court, you can get better in the weight room, you can get better in the kitchen, you can get better socially. But none of this matter if you're not getting better mentally. Mentally, mentally, mentally. The best thing you can do is be mentally prepared. It's the best thing you can do. Meditation and prayer could be better than extra training. I'll say that again. Meditation and prayer could be better than extra training. I don't care who you believe in. I don't care what you believe in. If you talk to Allah, if you talk to Jesus, if you meditate, you're talking to yourself. Becoming one with yourself is going to amplify your performance. When you have a clear brain, you have clear thoughts, you have less stress, you have more focus, you become better. Because you can work out as much as you possibly want. You can be in the weight room as much as you possibly want. But if you're not mentally prepared, if your focus is all over the place, you, you limit yourself on where you can go. You limit yourself on where you can go. Because they say most of, most of this game is mental. They say that about every sport. And I truly believe that. I see guys that's 36, 37 years old that can't run or jump anymore but still being very effective because mentally they're there. Mentally they're there. If you look at my last uh, game day vlog on my YouTube channel, 
against Limoges, you would see that they had one of the most more talented four men guy that played my position in the league, and I played good defense on him. It wasn't so much that I was just stopping him. It was because I was prepared for the plays that was going to come. I knew exactly what was going to come, so I made it uncomfortable for him, and he didn't get the ball in his spots, right? That's all mental preparation, right? That's all mental preparation. Being married has helped me tremendously. <laughs> like, being with Yaya, I mean, one of, one of the main things I would say for men is women, that they're distractions, right? Women that you shouldn't be dealing with, that you shouldn't be soul time with, that you shouldn't be spending time with. They're just taking. They're just taking, 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 and they take away your focus. Another thing is weed and alcohol. Like you're so high and so drunk that you can't recover properly. You're not thinking straight. Like these things are distractions. Another thing is, I would say, hmm, I would say women, weed, alcohol, I'll just focus on them too because the last one is for another podcast. But those things really take away from your focus and it really hinders you in getting better. So trust me, I want you to always feel like you can get better no matter what you're doing. If you're doing the, doing the smallest task, you can get better. I cut my hair. I found ways to cut my hair more efficiently, more faster, how to use the mirror. You can get better at everything. The more time you do it, the more repetitions you get, the better you get, right? So do it, do it a lot. Pay attention to what you're doing and get better, get better. Always be moving, always be thinking, get a clear head and make sure that you're doing everything that you possibly can to just take one step. You don't want to go a hundred steps up. You don't, you don't, you, that's not even fun if you just figure it out all in one day. If you do, cool, but it's not fun, man. Like you want to go up that journey and you want to figure it out, right? You want to figure it out. So just my advice, man. Always find a way to get better. Be mentally focused, all right? So if you like this video, this felt like this give you any type of value, please like and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, every day, make them pay so that one day you live a truth life. I'm out.